Do you speak English? Tentacle. Omicidio. 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 Murder. Murder? This interview doesn't commit either of us, Claire. I still have to decide whether I can take your case on. Lalo, it's not true. He's a little boy. He's doing fine. Out of hospital shortly, I believe. Well, I thought they said. What did they say? Well, I mean, the lawyer. He said it was murder. Attempted murder, Claire. And arson. The prosecutor will investigate the accusations and then he will decide whether you should be brought before a court. Signora, I wouldn't let that alone. And I didn't start any fires. Claire, there were three fires at the Resigothi Villa in two weeks. All since you joined the family. Well, two of them were nothing. And I had nothing to do with any of them. Are you accusing someone else? <laughs> yeah. will this cost? Don't worry about that. I'll speak to the British consulate. You better have these. I don't smoke. They're hard currency, Claire. Does this mean you're taking me on? There are a few things I have to check out first. I told you through telephono, Mr. Salt. She is not available for interviews. Excuse me. Buongiorno. Gina, ask Alessandra to join me for lunch. She is out of the office, Signor Vogliano. This afternoon, then? She's not back at all today, Dottore. Well, tell her to ring me. Well, uh, maybe you could put a word in for me, eh? Gina?
Sorry. Publieke minister. Alles. Was kan? Ciao. Ciao. Kom eens daar. Ben ik graag. Hey. is coming. Don't count on it. I left a message. He's going to fall. What are you in for then? I was a nanny for a little boy and they're saying that I... That was you? No. There was a fire. Well, don't go tell any others. I wasn't going to. Anything with kids. Nobody likes it. I'm sure that has been moved. Yes, absolutely. Pascal, how did the flames get from here to here? The rug's not even singed. I have no idea, Alex. Have you found any inflammable substances? Nothing. The fire seems to have behaved uncharacteristically. How long has it been burning? Uh, you normally need three to four hours for a fire to reach this sort of intensity. But the boy was alone for... for an hour at the most. This doesn't look like arson, does it? Careful! It might be needed as evidence. Get some plastic, I want it wrapped. Try. Inspettore Costello. Perhaps I could come by and see you as soon as the forensic results are back. I send them directly to the prosecutor, Signora Locatelli. I was hoping we could dispense with some of the red tape. He'll release our findings to you in due course. Relax, Costello. I'm not about the proposition. Vincenzo there. Please, I need to talk to him. I tell you, he's not here. He's gone out. No, don't hang.
dottore. Why wasn't I called before? If a client of mine is attacked, I expect to be informed. Your client, Avocado, seriously assaulted two other prisoners and a warder. That's ridiculous. One of the prisoners she attacked has been taken to the main hospital for x-rays. Why have you given Claire chlorpromazine? She needed calming down. The warder said her behavior was uncontrolled, almost psychotic. A warder is hardly qualified to make that kind of diagnosis. How well do you know your client, Signora Locatelli? Tell me about how you came to Italy. Vincenzo. A fiance. You were getting married. When I worked in London as a waitress, he worked in the kitchen. Just like a film, we fell in love. I went to Florence with him. We stayed with his parents. It was perfect. It's like a honeymoon. Does he mean to see you yet? No. He's busy doing his national service. But he said not to worry, that I'd be out soon. Claire, did you do anything which would antagonize the boy's grandparents? No, it was them from the start. Bianca warned me it was going to be difficult. You see, they were always making out she wasn't a good mother. They thought she should stay at home and look after Lello herself. They hated me because I was his nanny and because I wasn't Italian. Roberto ignored me. Straight away, Rosa was staring at me. Even when she was with Bianca, she was just staring, watching, just waiting to take Lello from me. I tried to say hello, but they ignored me. And then there was Rosa wanting to take him. Give him to his grandmother, Claire. He'd have been better off with me, but Bianca just let him. Rosa carried Lello off. They just left me outside. They hated me. They didn't want me there. Ma perché deve sempre toccare la roba degli altri? Vieni a vedere. Guarda, il tuo mestiere è guardare il bambino. Allora guardalo. Non toccare il televisore. Lello was the only one I could trust. What about the fire in the kitchen, Claire? Rosa must have left something cooking and it caught fire. I was with Roberto, but they still blame me. Have you spoken to the consulate yet? It's the usual thing. Until the case is over, there is no money, and even then... See. Si. But I'm doing your case anyway. She said her references from her last family would be posted on. I got the impression that Claire cared enormously for your son, Signora. Too much sometimes. It worried me, in fact. I began to feel that she was rather... Unbalanced. What do you mean, exactly? She started taking Lello into her room at night. When Bianca went in to fetch him, she'd be crying. One day, I went into her room and I found a letter she'd been writing to her boyfriend. You read it? She was saying how she hated being with us, how she would do anything to get back to him. Did you confront her? We both tried to talk to her. She was very moody. Every time we left her babysitting, she'd go into a sulk. Go and see to Ella, will you, Clara? Yes. We were having a barbecue. Suddenly, there was a fire.
Yeah. No, tonight's off, I'm afraid. Ollie's ill. But look, Claudio is in tonight, isn't he? Ollie's only three, Alex. <laughs> Besides, Claudio can't cope. Claudio doesn't want to cope. I can't make him. And I don't want to. That's different. Well, it's not easy to explain. You don't have to explain. You're a good mother, Lou. And a lousy liar. You know, sometimes I, ha I have to shut the children out completely. I, I have to. Otherwise, how could I be doing this? I seem to be shortchanging everyone at the moment. We need to talk this through properly. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? <laughs> I hope you've had measles. <laughs> dreaming. Nano, is he your boyfriend? No, the little boy. I didn't deserve him. He was screaming at me. He'd never done that before. Claire, that telephone call. The boyfriend. Vincenzo. Lots of women's blokes leave them when they're in here. No, when I get out, we'll be together. It's just... It's just difficult being apart. Brutta carogna! Che schifezze state combinando! Forget it. This uh, English girl's case, it could drag on for months. Vittorio, there are important principles at stake. But do you think uh, you'll wrap it up quickly? Publico Ministero will have to throw it out. We'll never get the board. Ciao, Franco. Oh, ciao, ciao. Grazie, grazie. There's a case of mine I'd like you to take a look at, Alessandro. Of course. He's a, a young doctor, uh, Donaldo Vesti. I've just taken his case through the courts. He was accused of misconduct. It was dreadful for him. What exactly was the charge? Oh, indecent assault. He was acquitted. But now he faces the medical council. They can be very severe. It's an important case for the studio to win, Alessandro. Of course, I'll do my best. Bernie, he, he was very anxious to meet you, so I, I made an appointment for you. Vittorio. I had Gina check your diary. Nothing new, Dottore. I'm sorry. Doesn't it bother you that the Resogotis are making all these accusations without a shred of evidence? Once an arrest has been made, an investigation has to proceed. But there was never anything to link Claire to the fire. Any evidence could have been burnt. Costello, do you ever give a personal opinion? I can tell you, Dottore, that the superintendent is practically one of the family. I don't expect he needed much persuasion to make the arrest. You found pipe ash in the boy's bedroom, didn't you? 
Your grandfather had knocked his pipe out on the windowsill. It didn't cause the fire. Oh, you found the old lady's crochet needle. They were in and out. It's their house. But I did search your client's bedroom. I found this hidden under a floorboard. The flint's worn out. It hasn't been used for quite a time. And I thought she might like to have these back. Thank you, Costello. Dottore, can I ask you something? How can a girl like that afford you? She can't. It might help you to know, Dottori, that the prosecutor is not happy with the inconsistencies in the statements. He's arranging a confrontation between your client and the boy's grandfather. Do you know when? As soon as it can be arranged. Grazie, Inspettore. Prego. Vincenzo's. He used to flick the lake when he talked. Took it to remind me. So why hide it? Clara, Bianca told me she had read a letter that you'd written to Vincenzo. She must have been through my room. I used to hide them. I had to hide things. She was saying how she hated being with us, how she would do anything to get back to him. The prosecutor could make a lot of this. I was upset. I missed him. You know how you say things. Claire, you're going to have to talk to the prosecutor. And Roberta will be there too. But why? He'll listen to you both and then try to decide who's telling the truth. Well, you'll be there, won't you? I'm not allowed to be, Claire. But I can't do it without you. You have to. This is your chance to convince him. What if Roberto lies? There'll be nobody there to stop him. Think about what you have to say, Claire. But everything's so twisted now. The prosecutor knows that. That's why he wants to see it. Claire, it's important for you to try and be very calm. Do you understand? I'll be there when you finish, I promise. Signor Zigotti, do you think Signorina Rigby was a good nanny to your grandson? She had a very strange relationship with the boy Ministero. It was almost as if she wanted to keep him for herself. I found her in there, just standing, staring. That's not true. Lella would have died if it hadn't have been for me. She's lying, Honore. You have been up to his room before. She started the fire. I caught her coming down an hour before. Stop! I need to see me lawyer. Where is she? Alessandro Locatelli for the Torre Vesti. I'm sorry, the Torre Vesti isn't here. I have an appointment. I'm his lawyer. I'm sorry, the Torre. He was called out. I did call your office. Alessandro, where is she? She's not here, signorina. Please, where is she? It's not my 
my fault. You've made a fool of yourself in front of the Mangio. Do you think that helped? You promised you'd be there. You promised to tell me everything. Where were you? You are not my only case, Claire. Why was Roberto insisting that you'd been in Lalo's room before he discovered the fire? I discovered the fire! Had you been in Lalo's room? No! No. Roberto says he would cry. Why cry? Had you been with the boy? No, I... Roberto upset me. I'm so confused. Why didn't you tell me all this before? It's nothing to do with the fire. I've told you everything that matters. I've told you. You let me decide what's important, Claire. It's only doing a job, you know. That's all you are. She wouldn't bother if she didn't care, would she? Is that what she told you? No. Do you want a toke? to see you urgently and there's an English journalist keeps asking for an appointment he seems okay sorry Gina tell him no into DiMaggio last night. He's not happy with this uh, English girl's case. He wants to see you. I see. Is there a problem? If the prosecutor wants to speak to me, I prefer to hear it from him, that's all. I rather assume the uh, case would have been finished by now. I won't just drop her, Vittorio. Dr. Vesti's uh, hearing date has just been announced. I don't intend to let you down. You are my top lawyer, Alessandra. Also the only woman in the practice. A woman defending a man for assault goes over better, which is why you handed the case over to me. Alessandra, Vesti is the son of a very dear friend of mine. A man not without influence. I chose you. Then trust me. This uh, Rigby case, it does need sorting out. Leave it to me, Vittorio. She would lie to my face about anything. On the day we had the kitchen fire, 
I was sitting watching the television. The phone rang. When I come back, she's had a mess up at the pitch. But Claire wasn't even in the kitchen, nor in the boy's bedroom. She says you're lying, Signore Zigotti. We had three fires in the house after she arrived. My grandson, he nearly burned to death. I must renew my petition for bail. It's simply not appropriate that my client should be held at San Stefano any longer. My investigations are now complete, Defensore. Minister. I've decided not to pursue further forensic tests. Frankly, there's just not enough substantial evidence to make it necessary. You're going to request an acquittal? Under these circumstances, it's very likely. Once this goes through, you'll be acquitted within days. But I don't understand. You have to be grateful. That's why I am. There are three conditions. You'll have to have a psychiatric test. What else? Absolutely no contact with the press. I won't. You've got to leave Italy as soon as you are released. I have to see Vincenzo. I have to promise the prosecutor. I see. Claire, you have no choice. Surely your freedom comes before everything. Yeah, of course. So what happens now? We wait. Hey, Signora Locatelli. Uh, I was wondering if I could have a word. You're a journalist. <laughs> yeah, but not a hack. It's, uh, it's about the Claire Rigby case. Ah, congratulations, Dottore. Bravo. Grazie. Ciao. You know all about the Inspectore, do you? No. Oh, well, Costello is a high flyer, but a little too scrupulous. He put some top family in the frame for Mafia connections, and they lifted the phone to someone quite superior, and he was demoted. He's been stuck in the judicial police ever since. Look, uh, you couldn't give me a lift, could you? OK, but I'm not going far. Thanks very much. So uh, how come you're doing this case for nothing? It's gone on a little longer than I thought it would. Look, uh, why don't you let me help you? I mean, I've got connections, uh, I speak Italian, anything practical. The last person I need at the moment is a journalist. If that's anything I write, I mean, couldn't Claire use some good, well-informed coverage right now? Absolutely not. <laughs> you must really think you've got this case so enough. Come back when it's all over. Had you known your patient long, Dottore Vesti? Margarita Scola was a fine clerk in our practice before she got pregnant. 
Six months after she had her baby, she came to see me uh, complaining of a small lump in her breast. Because she was an ex-employee and because she was hard up, I suggested she came to see me on a regular basis to save her expensive X-ray mammograms. Is that usual? Mm-hmm. Mm, these small lumps often disappear, as indeed it did in her case. I hadn't seen her for over a month when she found the surgery in the pant of her baby. I went straight out. I found the child had a temperature, but uh, was nothing particularly alarming. In your opinion, it was just an excuse? To be honest, different story, I was already concerned. When she worked for us, we were friendly, but uh, when she came to see me again as a patient, she was openly flirtatious. She confided in me about marital difficulties. Then wouldn't it have been more sensible not to have visited her at home? <laughs> I was the doctor on call, Signora Locatelli. Were you attracted to Margarita Scola? Vaguely, initially, but <laughs> uh, any doctor will tell you this is an occasional occupational hazard. I was scrupulous in my behavior. So how would you explain her accusation? At the house, she made a blatant pass at me. When I refused, she got angry. I and I see she set out to frame me to get her revenge. almost over. As soon as the people comes through. I'll know any day now. You'll always be there, won't you, Alex? What? <laughs> Nothing. No. Mm -hmm. I'll always be there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Amalfi Coast is pretty quiet this time of year. Is there anything you don't know about, Gina? It's all your Claire Rigby's about to be acquitted. Bellissimo. You will let it go now, Alessandra. The formalities can happen without you. Don't worry, Margaret. Oh, Alessandra, the uh, new judge, Di Paolo, is holding a small drinks party at his chambers. He uh, suggested I brought someone from the studio. What is this, the reward? He's a man you should get on with, Alessandra. Then I'd better come. Thank you, Vittorio. Ciao. Ciao. You're sweating, signorina. And you have a fast pulse. Is there something wrong? Get dressed now, please. Can we wait for my lawyer? I'm sorry, no. I want her to be here. Well, then maybe you should have told her that. It's Claudio. He's in a real state. This girl, one of his students, obviously just dumped him. We'll find another one soon enough. He says he's different this time. He's got the kids with him now. Can we still manage to get away? See, my, until then, I think we'd better be careful. Best not to come round and, and don't phone. Signora Locatelli? Yes? My name's Margarita Scola. Dr. Vesti's case. I really need to talk to you. Signora Scola, I'm sorry. You know we can't. But I have to. He's a liar. 
No, I'm sorry. It's absolutely out of the question. When did you start your periods, Claire? 16, I think. Please, can we stop now? I'm tired. And what age were you when your mother died? I was five. Did you miss your mother? Claire, you must answer all these questions. It was just like she'd left me. What about your boyfriend? My fiance. Where are you living with him and Florence? No, we were going to. So you were apart. We were going to get a flat together. But then. You accepted a job which actually took you away from him. Well, I had no choice. You see... What? How did Vincenzo feel about you leaving him, Claire? is Vincenzo to you, Claire? Is everything. Everything. I have found her behavior to be both volatile and unpredictable, Vittori. Your findings are not conclusive. Read my report, Dottori. I'm recommending a lie detection test. On what grounds? Claire's love for Vincenzo had become obsessive. And this was her motive. What? The fires were a cry for help. To show how desperate she was to be reunited with her boyfriend. The fire started almost as soon as she had to go away from him. That's ridiculous. Well, then why didn't he come forward to support her, hmm? Can you hear me? Ciao! Could you run a background check for me? You'll like this. It's that journalist, Matthew Saul. Grazie. Ciao. You should have been there. They changed the time without telling me. You could have stopped him. It wouldn't have made any difference, Claire. But it went so badly. What if it affects my acquittal? I'm going to make sure it doesn't. Vicky says you think I'm guilty. And Vicky knows, does she? She says I'm just another case. Do you have any idea of how hard I'm working for you? She's right, she? Just tell me the facts, Claire. And I'll defend you. It doesn't actually matter to me whether you're guilty or not. Well, it matters to me. Then tell me everything, not just what you want me to hear. Tell me about Vincenzo. Before he left London, he said he'd take me with him. And we'd get married. He said all the blossoms will be out in spring. But he went back without you. It would have meant leaving everything behind. 
it's too much to ask. Did he know you were coming to join him? No. I just turned upon his doorstep. We fell into each other's arms. Some people would say that was pretty impulsive. I suppose so. The prosecution are going to say you were desperate. That when you're apart from Vincenzo Clara, you do desperate things. Well, that's not true. I fell in love. You understand, don't you? Clara, I have to see Vincenzo. It will help if he can speak up for you. You have to trust me. Don't know where he is. Honestly. So can I ask why you decided to take me on? I ran a check, and apart from 19 unpaid traffic tickets and a reputation for writing off hire cars, you're clean. And I'm rather desperate. Well, it sounds like a perfect relationship, eh? How's that ever workable? Senor Salt, I need you to try and find Claire's boyfriend. I'm afraid there's not much to go on. I'm calling you my assistant. If anybody finds out you are a journalist, you're in big trouble, and so am I. That's no problem. Hey, um... <clears throat> so what do you think really happened? I'm not sure. But, um, Claire is telling the truth, yeah? Sometimes I, I think she doesn't know she's lying to herself. Gina. See, hey, Alex. I said instant food. Something in a tin or a bag. This only takes a little longer. I have to be at the Paolo's first. Pasta and a simple sauce. Much nicer. Do you know how often you sound like my mother? I'll get it. Pronto. Alex? Do? No good. I'm sorry. Hope you haven't planned anything. No. Nothing special. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. Ciao. Do me a favor, Gina. Cook it and tell me how good it was. Alessandra, come back and meet the Paolo. He's too busy doing business with the Maggio. I've been waiting for this acquittal date for weeks, Vittorio. And even tonight, he just ignores me. Well, I've just been talking to him about that. She's going to be released the day after tomorrow. That's how these things get done, isn't it? I'm just trying to help. 
Alex, Alex. <laughs> I know we've had our differences. That's why you hired me. It's only because I care about you, about your future. You don't have to worry about me. Someone has to. Why are you taking on so much work? I am okay, really. You know how I feel about you, Alex? Hmm? Vittorio, please. Whoever he is, he shouldn't make you suffer. Dear Alex. Oh. No, Vittorio. No. No. Alexandra? Oh, I can't believe you're not there. Look, uh... Okay, look, I'm still in Florence. Uh... There's no sign of Vincenzo, I'm afraid. But I managed to trace Claire back to her previous job. Do you know she used to work in a restaurant here? And there were two unexplained fires. The owner and her brother nearly died. Sophia Vitale. The police in Florence just reckon it was an accident, that's all. The acquittal papers are due tomorrow. If the press gets hold of this... Yeah, well, I think I've made sure they will. You what? Yeah, I promised Sophia Vitale an exclusive. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, it's the only way I can make sure she wouldn't talk to anybody else, yes? We should have discussed this. Well, I phoned you all last night, eh?
are, Gina. Alessandra, have you seen this? She what beat him she? up and he screamed. Uh, he said, uh, uh, she burned me. She burned me. One minute, one minute, she sits, she sits uh, uh, by him, all over him, hug him, hug him, hug him. The next minute, she's, she's away. She's in the clouds. I had uh, head in the clouds. I assume you're dropping the case. I haven't had a chance to speak to my client yet. You have a professional imperative to step down. I must insist. Don't try to bully me, Vittoria. I can't make any plans now, you know that. This is all so impossible. I'm sorry, Lou. I'll do something about it. Alex! I've got a car waiting to go to the prison. Forget it, Matthew. What? Can't you see the damage you've done? Well, it wasn't me! How else did they find out? It wasn't me! Get off! Why didn't you tell me? So it's true. Yes, but I had nothing to do with any of them. But you let me find out like this, through the papers. But I had nothing to do with any of them. Claire, think how this looks. But the restaurant owner never blamed me. She's blaming you now. Well, she's got no proof, so no one will listen to her. The prosecutor has to investigate every new development in your case. You'll be sent to Florence. I thought I was going to be acquitted. I can't see that happening now. Well, why not? This is stupid. Claire, think about it. You are already on three charges of arson. A child in your care was almost burned alive in his bed. Suddenly, there are two new fires from your last job, which you forgot to mention. That's five fires. What do you think it looks like? Well, I didn't do any of them. Then why keep them secret? Because I was desperate for work. I thought you were on my side. I thought you were on mine. Well, how did they find out then? About the restaurant? Matthew went to Florence to look for Vincenzo. He spoke to the woman who runs the restaurant. He told her. Well, then this is your fault. If you don't tell me the truth, what do you expect? I warned you. Alex. Did you find him? Vincenzo? No. Where are you going? To see the prosecutor. Well, you're not leaving me, are you? You can't 
find you an adequate replacement in Florence. I know you're angry, but it's not about how I feel, Claire. But no one else understands. Perhaps you should change your plea. You think I did it, don't you? This is pointless, Claire. Who's gonna listen to me now? Costello. She won't stand a chance in Florence. Do you usually get so intimately involved with your cases? Do you usually drop yours if they're not going your way? She dropped me, Costello. I couldn't have done more than I did. I let her be more than a client. What's that got to do with whether she's guilty or not? We had an agreement and she chose to break it. told me, Alex. Hi, Jean. Not great. How are you? Made me look a bit of a fool. What? He's waiting in your office. Like you told him to. What the hell are you doing here, Matthew? Hello? Look, would you like some coffee? I've just made some. I, uh, I managed to bribe your security guard, and I seduced your secretary. Get out, Matthew. Hmm. Breaking the rules is second nature to you, isn't it? Look, I didn't link that story, all right? The restaurant owner got greedy. She went to the press. She had an auction, for Christ's sake. Alex, that was a big story for me, you know? I mean, I was the one that lost out, really. Claire is the one who lost out, Matthew. You should never have told that woman about the fires on Capri. Okay. I fouled up, yeah. I don't suppose that ever happens to you, does it? Okay. Just go now, Matthew. Yeah, but you'll call me, eh? Maybe. Stupid woman! Look at her! By the time his hearing starts, every newspaper in Italy will have this. It's her own case she's damaging, surely. The medical council aren't going to like this. See Vesti immediately and tell him to keep his mouth shut. Vittorio, I am perfectly capable of handling my own case. It was unethical to visit her every week. Already explained. I examined Signora Scola every week to save her expensive hospital fees. But these visits gave you ample opportunity to touch her intimately, to make increasingly suggestive remarks. No. You didn't massage both her breasts. No. And say to her, I quote. No. Why did she keep coming back? Be huh? Because the huh? Vesti, Margarita Scola was so terrified she had breast cancer, she was forced to accept your turn. Not true. But when you tried to assault her in her own house, she decided to fight. She has made all this up. She's been fed about this. Can't you magazine? You get angry in court, Tatori. You finished. <laughs>
I always wondered what you did in the evenings. Oh, looks like you could do with some help. What's happened? Oh, we had a terrible row. In the end, I just told him. I had to, he made me. I said, I'm having an affair. How did he know? I refused to sleep with him once too often. You must have thought about it, Alex. Did you tell him it was me? No. I just said it was an affair, a fling, you know, to get my own back on him. Nothing serious. He's asking me to finish it, Alex. He wants us to make a fresh start. Alessandro? Alessandro, I've got to see you. Claire, that's not possible. Wrong. You've got to get me out of here. You've just got to hang on, Claire. But what if it starts happening again? They all think I'm a... I'm so sorry, Lou. Since when do clients have your home number, Alex? It's nearly midnight. Please, don't go. What chance do we have? I mean, really. Come here. With the kids. I can't risk it. I... What is that to risk? The children. He doesn't know it's a woman, Alex. Concludes tomorrow night here on BBC One at the same time, 9.30. Next tonight, Meryl Streep and Jack Nicholson star in Heartburn.